What's up, Kerbal Knots? This is Noel on PC, and today we are experimenting with a non weaponized B 2 bomber. This is the first iteration of my take on this craft. It's a popular craft from the Curse, I believe it's the Curse website. I, don't, I honestly don't remember where I got it. I did not build it, I just heavily modified it to make sure it actually flies. Uh, but s since, like, this is an older build, I think it was like 1.0 point something, and now that 1.0.5 has come a little way, uh, it doesn't fly right anymore. <laughs> I've, I've been test flying this really, really hard all morning, trying to get it to fly again the way it used to, and something's borked. <laughs> Something is super broken, it'll like, it'll pull left or right really hard, but the nice thing is, is occasionally it'll go off the end of the runway, and the nose will come up, and it'll actually start to fly. So that's, that's the dream. That's the dream right now, is we're going to try and get this thing airborne without crashing. Alright, let's, uh, well, let's crash this fucker. We're going to try and get lift right away. There it is. Okay, this is good, this is good, this is good. Nice. Nice. That was actually, that was the cleanest one yet. We didn't lose a single part. Alright, so once this thing is airborne, it flies really, really well, just like it used to. For how sort of big and cumbersome it is, it does fly really nicely. But the uh, the big the big selling feature on this guy is sort of the high altitude, because uh, it can cook a lot. Um, four engines, lots of air intake at high altitude, and I've modified with the afterburns so it can really haul ass, but it's nice to have these lower kilonewton options for just a nice cruise. You know, it is like the stealth bomber after all, so it would be taking pictures. Click, click, click. Getting email notification that my Twitch subscriptions come out tomorrow. Rest in peace bank account. This thing's awesome. It's got a nice nice glide to it just because there's so much lift surface. What are we using for fuel? 0.26 and we're cruising at about 250 miles an hour. That's decent. But let's let's get up to altitude. Let's get some speed first. And then we're going to climb it up to altitude and see how it uh, how it behaves at say 10,000 meters. Maybe higher, maybe like 14. How's everyone doing in here? Not so hot. Not so hot. It's got a lot of lift, but when you point it vert like this, all the weight starts to take over. It really wants to fall back towards Earth. All this gravity here. It's a nice looking craft. It certainly looks nicer than I'm making it fly. Kudos to the builder. I'll probably, I won't upload my version. Um, it's a tough one. I don't want to upload this one to Dropbox just because it's such a piece of shit. Um, I'd rather link the original, or where I downloaded the original, excuse me, because uh, it has, I think, his information on it and whatnot. And that original might fly better than this modified one. So that's probably what I'll do. So the, f the first link in the description should be their, their link. It, it, the website doesn't look great. I was kind of suspicious, but fire scans checked out. All right, we're 10,000 meters. It's a nice cruising altitude. Just gonna bend it like back them a little bit, get it back to 90, so we are eventually going to have to turn around and go try and land it. Nice, alright, doing 
50 meters a second. It's about 340-ish miles an hour. Still climbing like crazy. Still lots of air going in there. Awesome. Just awesome. That's what I love about this game. It's just the grand scope and scale. The sheer size of the game. The fact that you can quite literally fly from one little spot, one little, you know, 15 square kilometer patch of dirt, all the way to the moon, or Mars. The best is the best around. And we're kind of, we're kind of plateauing at about 400 miles an hour ish, which is actually like shockingly slow. Ah, that's why. They're not, they're not a good high altitude motor. So let's, let's boogie back. We're going to try and keep as much of the speed as we can. Oh, there it goes. Bye speed. Bye. Bye. Oh, bye altitude. Bye. Bye. We've got all of our lift surface pointing straight down. So we're just cutting a knife through the atmosphere. But slowly coming about. And we kept a lot of speed. Most of that speed is uh, um, downward. We're gaining speed because we're falling out of the sky like a brick. There we go. We did it. Okay, we, yeah, we have way too much speed. What are we doing? What are we doing? All right, we need to, yeah, we need to descend like crazy, which is going to bring up a ton of speed. Now that a lot of the thrust is off, I'm noticing just how little control this craft has now that it's 1.0.5. Um, I can do this. That'll help a bit. How you doing? You doing alright? You look you look good. He looks okay. He looks like he might you might end up with some, some post-traumatic stress. But Jotney's doing great. She's the one actually flying. Of course, she's handling this with poise. She is a veteran experimental research division pilot. speed because there's like there's a lot of surface lift area and stuff like that but it's such a thin plane that there's not a lot of drag parts so without the brakes on we just start accelerating like crazy as soon as I turn the brakes off this thing just takes off so I'm gonna leave those air brakes up until we get down quite a bit lower and I'm just gonna balance our speed loss with a little more throttle because these engines are yeah these engines are barely using any fuel and we've got a ton of fuel yeah, we're over encumbered with fuel. You are over encumbered. Comment if you know what game that's from. We're gonna try and put this thing down. Let's get the gear down. Cause maybe that'll actually do some more drag. Uh, I'm gonna leave brakes off because I'm concerned about what they would actually do. But we've got a little parachute that should help slow us down a lot. You know, my, wor my worry right now is that the second those wheels touch the ground, it's going to start juddering off to the left or right, annoyingly. Alright, we can probably glide this thing below 60 meters a second, I bet, because of, again, all that lift surface area. I'm going to take my chances. Because we're still doing like, we're doing like 250 miles an hour. We don't want to put the wheels down doing 250 miles an hour. All right, moment of truth, boys and girls. Moment of truth. Moment of doom. Okay. 
Things are happening. Things are most certainly happening. Cutting throttle completely. Coming in for a glide. Okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna shed off as much of the speed as we can because it goes really straight at really low speed. About 100 miles an hour. Blink. Oh, we're dying. 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 Hey, we're alive. Hey, look at that. All right, so, you know, we have we have new data for the experimental research division. They can figure out, hopefully, what the fuck keeps going wrong with this thing, why it keeps pulling to the left or right randomly. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you, I hope it inspires you to want to play around with this build, and I hope it works for you. Um, yeah, I hope you like, comment, subscribe, do all those things you guys do as YouTubers. And until next time, guys, peace, love, cheers.